Hey folks, how are you doing? So, I'm gonna bother you again a little bit. I'm gonna show you all this I'm taking to the show. Uh, everything. The, this one, I really like this one. I finally did the sheet for it today. And this one came out pretty sweet. Really nice and loose inside, but perfect. Really good retention. One of my favorite knives, this one. It's just such a nice little. It's like a machete, but really good performance. Really like this one. Very underrated. Taking the beaver, <laughs> put the stickers on it. Uh, that buoy, uh, all the T Rexes and Raptors and everything. Taking my frame lock to show some people, Jeff and you know a couple other YouTubers. Taking my first one also. Really liking this one. I need to put the pocket clip on it because this is a good knife, and it's actually working knife, working frame lock. Just need to put the pocket clip. So I can carry it. It's a little bit, a little too big for my taste, and too heavy. But it's actually good working knife. So taking the friction folders, taking my Anso hinderer and that uh, snotty friction folder and pinder pen. Those two that I want to sell. I'm hoping to maybe do some cool trade or something. But mainly what I want to show you, what I did today. Check this out. This is actually one of my. I would say like not proudest pieces but one of the coolest overall packages and everything that I've done I, I like it one of the it's definitely one of my favorites uh, a lot of people like this blade when I did it it's the Rhino and it's actually promised to Kylie which is kind of big deal for me because Kylie like my mentor and my very good friend and him actually wanting my knife it means a lot to me so I really hope that he's gonna like this you see brown kydex sheet put my sticker on it I think it's cool I don't know some of you might think it's cheesy I kinda like it you know it's like you know have my logo on it why not and it's not some cheesy hand engraved logo in the kydex it actually looks good no so you have nice kydex sheet drainage hole plenty of rivets for the for the tech lock and actually drill the holes on top from both sides for tech lag you can fit the tech lag here you know all three holes or the top two holes whatever you want uh, funny enough actually the just coincidence this hole I didn't plan it but it actually came out exactly to the bottom the first first pin the handle pin so you can actually put a piece of paracord here just slide it through and it locks the blade in the sheet completely which is kind of neat you know you just stick it through and it's locked then you just pull it out and uh, unsheet the knife and here it is it's actually nice and loose inside this one I put actually five layers of duct tape inside I'm trying to do like trying to find that right amount uh, of course every knife is different a little bit uh, I'm finding four or five layers of the duct tape it's something what I like I did it on these sheets and uh, some of the smaller antenna blades actually all they need is three layers but uh, the large ones because and uh, especially the complicated shapes four or five layers so here's the knife really like this this is a Rhino very nice satin finish high polish actually kind of high polish crazy sharp rosewood handle this one is buffed rosewood handle with orange G10 liners uh, it's kind of flawless it really is uh, this one came out really nice very comfortable in the hand plenty big handle has that striker pommel on the end which I really like see it has a linear hole on the on the end there and then you have those five stainless steel pins going through and then you have those you know aesthetic holes in the blade I really like this one a lot definitely one of my kind of proudest pieces the blade is continuous curve so is the top then you have that kind of like reverse tanto shape I like this one a lot and it's pretty cool geometry is nice plenty plenty strong for for uh, chopping but yet still very good performer performer for cutting very nice and it is sharp I mean obviously it has to be <laughs> sending a knife to Kyle it better be sharp 
push cutting push cutting phone book like there is nothing this is thick blade this is 5 16 8 millimeters thick slightly rounded not completely rounded but the rounded of the corners of the spine and uh, I like this one a lot pretty sweet grind on it nice and lean but the edge is slightly thickened up it's of course it's not as thin on the edge as the T-Rexes or Raptors but it's still it's gonna be a good performer I walked into the 2x3s a little bit and it, it has good penetration it cuts well and it feels really nice in the hand you have that kind of like a what do I say it kind of like a kitchen knife thing when you're cutting like that your hand actually clears the cutting surface a lot because of that nice swoop you see that so kind of pretty excited about this one very happy about how it came out overall the overall package especially just like it did that extra mile did that kind of same style shit as I did on this you know and uh, I love that uh, Amazon Rosewood handle the wood it's it's a good looking wood it's actually a pretty cool combo with that puffer with this with that O1 one puffer the small one that also has the Amazon Rosewood but uh, this, this one is cross grain this one is regular grain but it will be a cool combo because it matches the handles and the shades the handles matches to a certain degree because it does look a little different this one is darker this one is buffed this one is just oiled and because of the grain is different uh, the it looks different color it looks darker but it's the same wood so guys let me know what you think I'm really looking forward to tomorrow it looks like I'm going tomorrow too so very very excited about the show we're gonna have some fun I really look forward to meet a lot of you guys so thanks for watching guys take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself